Good morning. Uh, what we've got going today is we've got some some panels. Uh, I say they're panels. They're kind of temporary type panels that we got to make a small cattle handling facility. And we had to get them for uh, our Mashona herd that's over here uh, on, a, on a different property kind of that doesn't have access to any pens very easily. And so we kind of needed a spot to, to capture them. So I went to Bowie. I've got a, a friend over there that kind of deals in this stuff. And they had some stuff here that I think is, what I like about it is it's, it's, it's portable, but it's very heavy. And that's, can look, you can look at that as a negative, but you can also look at it as a positive. In life, there are always learning curves, and this was no exception. First, we tried dragging them off and then rotating the feet to set them up. This method was okay, but it took a lot of time. Wasting time when it's going to be nearly 100 degrees outside is not what you want to do. So, then we tried rotating the feet before we took them off the trailer. That method worked okay too. Rotating the feet was much easier to do. The problem was unloading the panel once you had the feet rotated. Now we had trouble getting them unloaded and set up. Once again, as we do almost every day when life throws us a challenge, we had to observe and adjust. Lisa had an idea that worked really well for these 24 footers. Yes. And then use the trailer. Yes. And then yes, you'll have to watch and analyze everything as it's going. Because, I mean, I don't want to be just constantly yelling at you. But I feel like I have to yell for you to hear me. Okay, just, just raise it up and come on back. It'll be easy if you'll listen. If you'll listen to me, life will be a lot easier. <laughs> Look at the genius, super genius. She was thinking about how to do those 24 footers. So as you can see, what was really nice about these panels is that you can set them up with the feet 
and then move them into position as needed. You will just need some equipment to help since they're so heavy. Okay, Lisa, this one's gonna go. This one's gonna go on this side of that gate. It's gonna connect to that gate on this side. Look at how big those things are, man. They are huge. We're done. <laughs> okay, what we've got here, this is the gate where we're gonna bring them in and load them. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't think a lot about loading them when I was figuring out what panels I needed. And so it'd really be better if I had a different gate to load them out of, but we set it up where I think I can load them right here. My trailer, I'll back my trailer up right here and my trailer gate will open out that way and then this gate will open in, and so we'll have us a little uh, little kind of lane to the loadout. Um, anyway, I'll still have to get a little panel to block this corner right here, but you notice it's nice and shady in here, and that makes it real nice. And the cattle tend to want to kind of come in this little thing right over here where this road is, and they want to turn back and come right this way, so that's why we set it right here. I kind of like the the stuff. It's it's tough. It looks heavy, heavy, heavy. These panels are shipped with these chains tacked uh, to keep them out of the way while they're shipping. And then when you get them, you just kind of break it loose, and then it goes around the corner, and that's what holds them together.
Okay, so we have the temporary pen set up, and tomorrow morning we will come out and gather this small group of cattle so that we can sort off the one bull calf that is in with them. That will be in our next video. So if you want to see how this set of pins work, stay tuned.